everybody today's topic is genders today's topic is genders and genders are basically noun now children a noun names a person and the person can either be a male or a female so male and females are genders right children the genders according to the class 2 can be divided into two categories right children two parts in number 1 is masculine gender meaning males the second part feminine gender meaning females right two types of genders for class 2 and they are masculine gender means males feminine gender means females now children i would like to explain to you the definition of genders right now for this a male member of a species is a masculine gender Again, I will repeat, a male member of a species is a masculine gender. For example, boy, father, uncle, and etc. A female member of a species is a feminine gender. I repeat again, a female member of a species is a feminine gender for example girls mother niece aunt and etc so now we know that the genders are of two types yes the male gender and the female gender right now is it clear to you and since they are male genders and the female genders they are also known as noun. Till now I have explained you the definition of male gender and a female gender. Now I would like to give you some example of the masculine gender and the feminine gender. I would like to give you examples of the masculine gender and the female gender, feminine gender. Right children? So here it starts, boy, girl, boy, girl, father, mother, father, mother, uncle, aunt, uncle, aunt, king, queen, king, queen, prince, princess, prince, princess. Peacock, peahen, peacock, peahen, tiger, tigress, tiger, tigress. Children, till now I have given you some examples of genders, right? I have shown you some examples of genders. Now I would like to show you how to change the genders of the underlined words given in a sentence. How to change the underlined genders given in the following sentences. So children, the king is sitting on the throne. The king is sitting on the throne and the king is underlined. We have to write the opposite gender of king and it is queen. It is definitely queen. The opposite gender of king is queen. Right children. The second sentence. Now. The boy is very intelligent. The boy is very intelligent. Now the word boy is underlined. The word boy is underlined and we have to write the opposite gender of boy and it is girl. The opposite gender of boy is girl. Right babies? Now the third sentence. 
My uncle is a doctor. My uncle is a doctor. Uncle is underlined and we have to give the opposite gender of uncle. It is definitely aunt. The opposite gender of uncle is aunt. The last sentence. The peacock is dancing. The peacock is dancing. The peacock is underlined children and we have to write the opposite gender of peacock. It is peahen. Opposite gender of peacock is peahen. So now children I believe you must have understood what genders are all about. They are a type of noun, male and a female. It should be very clear to you by now. Thank you.